Angle grind is not the ideal tool to use for, for doing this as it's got a rotary action, it, that, it, this that turns round. Really a better tool would be something like a Saturn X machine to get a nice brush finish but if that's the only tool you have an uh, option to you then you could perhaps use a first, a first step would be a PAT, P125 of this, something like the Norton Quantum uh, high performance uh, grain for removing uh, any surface imperfections, scratches etc in there. Step two would be the Norton Rapid Blend Vortex, unitized product. Now this uh, would uh, remove the scratches put into the material by the, the fiber or flat disc on, the, uh, on step one and uh, take down the peaks and troughs uh, of the surface condition uh, for ever refining. Step three would be something like the 2SF uh, Rapid Blend from Norton as well, which is a softer silicon carbide abrasive and fine grade, again, reducing the scratch from the previous uh, Vortex disc. Uh, if you, uh, this is a good enough finish, but if you actually wanted to polish after that stage, you could do a step four, which is the Norton Rapid Polish, which is a felt disc uh, used with a compound. Now here, uh, we really do need to re reduce the speed because this uh, disc is not rated at the maximum speed of the angle grinder. So take it down to about five, 6,000 RPM maximum.